edition of African Talk. Uh, my name is Daudi Karunji and today we are looking at an artwork by um, Ngula Yusuf, a Ugandan artist. Uh, it's, uh, the, the painting is called Family Vacation. I like this painting in particular because of its uh, very dynamic styles. Uh, I like the, the, the style, the use of material, the, the texture, you can see some paper and I like, I'm attracted to it by its um, mathematical kind of different view style. Um, and also when I try to understand what it means, it reminds me of the Serengeti migrations of the wild beasts and um, I also see this kind of sort of TV in the right in the top right which uh, says discovery world estimation of 900 or something so maybe it's that the whole idea of discovery I see these mathematical situations that for me might mean the, the fact that the way we humans or people count these uh, the, the numbers that have migrated this year, the numbers that have uh, reduced this year or, of, 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 the, of the wild. But then again, you have another angle of how these animals every year move to the same place without uh, any instruction, which creates a, a sort of a, a human, a sort of animal intelligence that is perhaps even superior to human uh, intelligence because when there's earthquakes in, in the world, people get damaged, but animals never. So the, I see a lot of intelligence in this work. I see a lot of uh, energy around the use of color, the use of division of space. Uh, the bird eye view is a very interesting aspect of this painting that I really admire. Um, but also the artist is one of those self-taught, sort of imaginative, doesn't speak a lot about his work, kind of artist. So I see, I see us getting into the mind of this artist in a way to intellectually debate life as we know it. This painting, therefore, um, for me, it, uh, it refers to, I, I related to artworks like uh, Jackson Pollock, uh, Mark Toby, whose work can, uh, doesn't reveal an horizon, but it shows us, uh, it is viewed from above and it creates an abstract look. So um, I hope uh, you've enjoyed this edition and uh, I hope you've got to learn something about Bat's Eye View. Thank you for joining us this edition of AfriArt Talk and see you next time.